otherwise you can't become a politician at least in india anywhere actually but at least in india you have to be courageous because to survive in politics impossible there is no certainty there is no career there is no future i always tell my students you you have to be courageous you are not required to be fluent and remember the more you practice courage the more courageous you become english is not about accuracy perfection english is about courage that guts that guts hi there few days before i was studying one kind of personality these people are called as the hardy people or the resilient people and these people are some something different out of this world uh one of my students said this to me he said that sir i'm a mca i'm mca but there are many politicians who are not even graduate who are not even 10th pass but they are very successful they have power they they enjoy that power they are they are they are policy makers they are movers and shakers why this is what's the reason behind this well the reason is these people have one important quality and the quality is they are courageous they have the courage they have the courage they don't have education they don't have the phd's like me but they are courageous they are damn courageous now what is courage courage let me explain you this is a true story that happened with me it was i think 2014 no not 14 13 i guess 13 or 14 in between and when politician called me to his office he had started a new engineering college and he was planning to appoint me as the principal of that college so i went there you can you you know that along with the politician there are at least 10 15 people around him and the same thing was there there were around 10 15 people around him and he was sitting there i went there and as the discussion was progressing i i started speaking in english i mean i used some two three sentences that's all because i knew that the politician usually they are not fluent in english but then this politician started speaking in english he was not fluent but he was courageous understand this point huh now i will tell you what was the scene just imagine i was sitting there i was also replying in english he was replying back to me in english i was able to understand what he was saying and he was able to understand what i was saying i i am a phd he was i don't know how much qualified he was i think he was not qualified at all but he had that courage in him and people around him this 10 15 people these people were quite impressed with his english because they were expecting me to speak in english but they were not expecting their leader to be that fluent of course he was making mistakes but these people couldn't recognize that they, he is making mistakes but one thing i realized that this politician was not at all not at all having any fear or any nervousness about english he was not at all concerned about my english he was not overwhelmed like most of you do do like when someone is very fluent you lose your fluency you aren't able to communicate you stutter you stammer this politician was unwavered calm and composed he was as if english is his first language as easily he was talking simply he was enjoying the talk how why the psychology that psychology this politician was courageous and that's the reason why he was a politician he was not at all worried about mistakes he was not at all trying to uh, impress me or something he was just focused on delivering the message and he was delivering that and this courage has had brought that politician at that level so that he could start engineering college and we people phd's educated people will go and work there because we don't have the courage look at us 
when you make a mistake while speaking in English. Look at your condition. You feel ashamed. You feel guilty about yourself. You don't even try. If someone is fluent, what is your reaction? Do you know that? And look at this guy. And look at us. And that student, as I said before, he was telling me about his, he was very qualified, but he did not have the courage. And most of us, we are highly qualified, but we don't have the basic quality to be successful in life, in communication skills, and that is courage. Courage is not absence of fear. Courage is doing it in spite of fear. Now the question is how to develop this courage. Politicians, maybe some of them have this genes, hardy genes are there. Yeah, that, that's true. Otherwise, you can't become a politician, at least in India, anywhere actually. But at least in India, you have to be courageous because to survive in politics, impossible. There is no certainty. There is no career. There is no future. And people around you, you know that. What kind of people are there around you? I'm not praising politicians, but I have seen the positive side of politicians. Do you agree with me? Write in the comments. Write in the comments. Do you agree with me? What do you feel? I believe that this is a very positive side of politicians. That is my observation. Want to be courageous? Yeah. Courage is like muscles. Courage is like muscles. The more the more you use courage muscles, the more courageous you become. The more courageous. In case of communication skill, I always tell my students, you, you have to be courageous. You are not required to be fluent. You have to be courageous. You should not worry about your mistakes, what people say and think about you. Like that politician. And when you have that courage, not only your English will improve, not only you will become that hardy personality, that, that's what I said. You will be that hardy personality. You will be that hardy personality, that's what I said. Practice courage and courage you can practice when you speak to people. Go and speak to people. Go and talk to them. Go and speak to those people who are very fluent in English. And remember, the more you practice courage, the more courageous you become. English is not about accuracy, perfection. English is about courage. That guts. That guts. Do you have that guts in you? I remember one small story I will tell you and then I will stop, dear brothers and sisters. Kapil Dev was asked, You are a great batsman. How, how come you are a great batsman? Kapil Dev said that. In his Haryanvi dialect, he said, Waha jane ke liye jigra lagta hai, jigra. Jigra, courage. What he said? To go on the pitch and play, you need courage. There are many people who are very good cricketers, but when they go on the stage there, that courage is required. And that's very important. That's what Kapil Dev had. You can also develop that. Develop that English courage in you. Let go that fear and face the fear and don't worry about what people say or think about your English. Be courageous. Only your qualification is not sufficient. You have to be courageous to be successful in life and in English also. My best wishes to you. Best wishes. Thank you.